Um, so yeah, I would just love to hear like, what are you doing right now in terms of content, right? Are you, uh, you know, you make podcasts and then you, you know, crop them out, put them on the TikTok. Like what's the content strategy right now? Yeah. So my content strategy is I, I'm building up my YouTube channel. So I go live and I do, my lives are kind of like uh, YouTube style videos. So I'm trying to do, do straight to the point and try mm -hmm. to like live in the moment and try to do that. And then I'm also, I do guest guesting a lot. So I've got a, a video camera that's recording me. It's pulling in your audio and pulling in my video. I find that's one of the best ways of doing the long form content into short form content, because then you've got people asking you questions and you're just kind of vibing and doing the, doing your thing as normal. Um, and then I'm also starting to run this Q and a that I record as well. Uh, and then of course I just do the, the one off TikToks where I'm just looking into the screen and, uh, you know, doing this straight to you. Cause I think there's a, I think, the, I think content creation does the best. I don't, not everyone can do this, but I think it does the best when you've got the long form thing, you're cutting that up into little pieces that you can publish. But I still think looking into the camera and talking to people is, um, is a big part of it too. I, I, I kind of think of that's like, if you want to do rapid growth, I think that's, more on the rapid side of things. And then of course you've seen the, the content automation stuff that I, that I do as well. And that, that just helps me do all of that stuff that I'm doing um, really efficiently. So I, I like to tell people, it's like, I can help you be Gary V in, in two hours or two to three hours a week. Right. I, I completely agree with you. I think there's like a balance between making videos that are like specifically optimized for TikTok, And then also just taking content that you already have from a podcast like this, from your Q and A's, from your YouTube, and then, you know, getting those turned into TikToks, like finding the, finding the balance between the two. Um, I know I really just jumped right in and wanted to go right to the, the content strategy, but I was taking a step back. I would love to hear a little bit more about like what you're doing at SGP Labs. What do you, what do you do for your clients? Is that all around the content automation or do you help them develop strategies as well? Yes. Yeah, so the only people that I really help with like the hardcore automation that I do are people that are already creating a lot of content. Right. Cause it, mm. there's, if you're not creating content yet, there's, it's like, that's only going to get in your way. Right. Like, like I I've done so many automation things and implemented technology. You can do that. You could say this for anything, for marketing automation, for content automation, it can literally just get in your way and cause problems. Um, so, so when I'm working with a bigger client, they've like, some of my clients have like three podcasts and it's just like, they've got a team and it's like, how do you really streamline that whole thing? I'll come in and help them specifically on the automation. But for my clients, I'm helping them do, I'm really helping them use the power of video, content repurposing and social media to generate revenue. And to do that, it's really like marketing strategy. You have to have a marketing strategy, right? right? Who, what, why you, where are you going to do it and how are you going to do it? And then content strategy, which is like, what are the skills you need? What's your point of view? Um, what's your post-production workflow look like? What's your distribution workflow look like? How do you gather insights from the marketplace? So, uh, and then like, how do you get on video? How do you come up with your concept? Like, are you going to do a podcast? You're going to do a Q and A's you're going to, so I help them think all that stuff through and just walk them through my program and help them get that, uh, for people that aren't actually creating content yet or aren't on video, it's helping them get that thing going. You know, it's like, it's not an easy thing. It, it, I, I should actually rephrase that. It, it can be very easy, but we get in our, our, our own way and we've, We've all got our own reasons, like why that, why something gets in the way. It could be fear. It could be, right. you don't just, you just don't even know how it works. Like, how could this possibly generate m money for me? I don't get it. Like, so there's all those different things. That, that's it in a nutshell. Yeah. One, one of the best decisions I ever made actually was kind of getting out of my own way with this podcast distribution. Cause I know if I'm the one at the end of the day who like kind of, you know, edits these things and actually does the posting. I make the, the captions, the titles and everything. I would never get any of these things published. Right. So just like right. getting that system in place where I am no longer the one that publishes and distributes this. I'm not the one who chops it up and puts it on YouTube and then makes the, uh, the TikTok clips, like just getting myself out of there, getting out of my, my own way.